Hello students, welcome to study IQ. So we will continue our discussion on economy. We are in the module international organization. Okay, so we have already completed about uh, WTO and then we have discussed about uh, World Bank. Okay, so we have done with these discussions. Now in this session we will talk about IMF. Okay, so when we discussed about World Bank, I have also talked about IMF but not in detail. So here we will discuss IMF in detail and if possible I will make some comparison with uh, World Bank also. And then uh, in the next session we will see the recent IMF reforms. Okay, so two sessions I have taken for World Bank. Uh, I think seven session I have taken for WTO. WTO is complete in itself. And two sessions I'll take for uh, IMF also. Okay, so we have already discussed about uh, this conference which was held in 1944, UN Monetary and Financial Conference which was held in 1944, where in Bretton Woods. Okay, so Bretton Woods in 1944 and which was actually attended by 44 countries, UN Monetary and Financial conference okay so it was decided that three institutions uh, it was actually proposed three institution one was ibrd international bank for reconstruction and development we have seen this as the world bank and when we have discussed about world bank group i have told you this and ida together is known as world bank okay and uh, they share the office staff etc together all those uh, ideas we have covered then we have then another proposal was imf okay now see the membership of imf is actually important necessary for ibrd although some exceptions are there and then one ito international trade organization and out of which these two were established at that time and this is the Bretton Woods twins okay instead of ito in 1947 uh, another meeting was there which was held in geneva which was attended by, attended by 23 countries and they have signed an agreement that's what general agreement on tariffs and trade GATT. okay and uh, it went on like that a uh, 48 it came into operational and 86 uh Rugu around it faced some issues and it went on like that till 94 and in 94 based on Dunkel draft or the draft final agreement or based on Marrakesh agreement WTO came into existence from 95 and then nine, uh, 95 onwards WTO and we have seen the various rounds of GATT we have seen the various uh, ministerial conferences of WTO and we have discussed all the important ministerial conference Doha ministerial conference Nairobi Singapore issues Bali all these are covered okay so if you have missed out those videos Please watch that videos with that you can complete your WTO it is expected a mains question and a prelims question also from WTO you can get in touch with me here that's my Instagram ID this is my Instagram ID Zia Safir or Facebook ID also same you can join the telegram channel the same ID same you can search in telegram you'll get it you have economic classes history classes quantitative aptitude is there which have which was done by me although it is at a higher level for cat but still it will be useful some of the topics will be useful for your csat also like percentages and all okay and then sociology optional students you can watch sociology videos also and ethics is also there okay so let's now uh, discuss about imf okay so when this ibrd uh, was established it was actually established in 1944 ibrd imf 1945 and came into operational after two years so this was came into operational 1946 and this was came into operational 1947 so as i've told you membership of imf is a must for membership of ibrd although some exceptions are there now headquarters etc we have discussed already so if you talk about imf the headquarter so washington dc right headquarter Washington DC how many members are there 189 members are there if you take IBRD also it is the same okay so Washington DC and 189 members now the head of the organization head of IMF we have discussed that managing director okay so head is managing director who's the current managing director Crystalinia Georgieva okay okay I don't know how, exact pronunciation Crystalinia Georgieva something like that and similarly uh, so here it is managing director so in world bank it is president okay so world bank it is president and david malpass okay so managing director in imf president in world bank and you know as per convention the managing director of imf is always from 
Europe and president of World Bank is always from USA okay then we have seen uh, certain in case of World Bank we have discussed all these in detail so I'm not going to discuss the objectives the method of raising funds the voting pattern okay the directors etc we have discussed in relation to World Bank already so I'm not going to discuss about that I'm here talking about IMF only okay so what is the main functions or objectives okay so the first one to promote international monetary cooperation to promote to promote international monetary cooperation okay so that is the most important function second to minimize restrictions on convertibility of currencies to minimize restriction on convertibility of currency and this we have already discussed in one of our previous session with respect to convertibility we allowed uh, uh, full convertibility in current account and in capital account we set up a committee towards full com convertibility and because of some asian crisis and all which was due to the uh, you know full convertibility we have later uh, uh, renamed or we have later appointed another committee which is committee towards fuller convertibility that means not full close to full okay so that is as per imf uh, norms or imf recommendations recommendations so we've already discussed that one previous video is available in that okay so to minimize uh, the restriction on convertibility of currencies third one to ensure exchange rate stability to ensure exchange rate stability okay then to ensure balanced international trade to ensure balanced international trade in that context wto is more important but i am also have the role in terms of exchange rates in terms of various other aspects okay so to ensure balanced international trade and uh, so next is five to assist that is the most important function to assist the member countries to overcome the BOP crisis and we got help from IMF in 1991 and then we went for reform as per the you know conditions of IMF okay so they actually provide loans not concessional loans to overcome the crisis especially short-term loans when we discussed about World Bank they provide long-term loans like 25 to 40 years and concessional interest rate here that's not the case here uh, to overcome that crisis you take loan from IMF so BOP payment timely credit is important here and it is not concessional loan you are uh, you are not concerned about interest you are concerned about loan getting in time so when you are facing the BOP crisis you need money at that time okay so you don't worry about the interest at that time so here IMF provide basically short term to meet that immediate requirement and not at a concessional rate okay so this is again one of the most important function and we opened up our economy based on the agreement Washington consensus that we have discussed in one of our previous session okay so sixth uh, this is the most important one to assist to assist member countries to overcome BOP crisis or BOP problems then some common functions like that we have discussed in case of World Bank to provide technical assistance etc that also you can write here so to provide all it provide technical assistance like training of officials in banking okay so training of officials in banking finance finance taxation okay finance taxation etc then it also reviews economic policies of member countries okay so it reviews that means there is a surveillance okay so i'll write here surveillance or it reviews it reviews the economic policies of a uh, of member countries of member countries and assess the risks okay so economic and financial risk basically 
so i've told you it provide basically short term loans uh not concessional interest okay so it provide conditional loan so that's why i've told you when we got help from imf in 91 due, during the balance of payment crisis there were certain conditions and based on the conditions only we went for the reform okay so so conditional loans then uh, then we can write short term loans short term loans so when it comes to world bank not much conditional loan it's long term loan concessional interest so here not concessional interest because i've told you timely credit is more important right okay now this loan is basically based on the quota okay so it the borrowing that you can make from imf all depends on quota okay so quota i'll discuss about this the, this one after some time okay see when you are borrowing loans are based on quota so when you are borrowing within quota then there is no condition but when you are borrowing outside the quota quota is around uh, six times up to six times of your you know your borrowing capacity is up to six times of your quota so you can borrow up to six times of your quota now conditional when the conditions are imposed is actually if you borrow beyond the quota so you can borrow six times right and if you see uh, the conditions are imposed on developing countries mostly like when india borrowed in 91 there was conditions and we opened up our economy our exchange rate we have till then it was fixed exchange rate then we have changed to uh, a market exchange rate right so from see in 93 onwards we were following the floating system right and in 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 that period we are following liberalized exchange rate management system lerms okay in which partially fixed and partially floating and before we were fixed so fixed then lerms and then floating from 93 onwards so uh, see what i'm saying is if developing countries when they there is a crisis when they borrow it will be beyond their limit what is the limit six times the limit why it is beyond their limit because their quota is small but most of the time developed countries when they borrow they will not have any condition why even if they borrow it will be within limit why because the quota is very high so developed countries the quota is high so six times of the quota means it's a huge amount but developing countries the quota share is so 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 less so six times will not be sufficient so you need to borrow more and when you borrow more from the uh, you know capacity then there is a condition and that's why you can see the conditions are imposed on developing countries and not on any developed countries developed countries they can borrow within their limits whatever they borrow it will come under the limits only six times that's fine for them because the quota itself is so huge they might be borrowing more than developing countries they might be getting more than like what india got but still it is coming in their limits okay in the borrowing limits i hope you understood this point okay i'll discuss further i'll clarify it further when we move further okay so now let's talk about the quota so here we were actually talking about a source of raising funds before i've told you in case of world bank issue of bonds that is a main source and then subscribe capital of the member countries so here the source of raising fund is actually quota and borrowings okay so quota actually uh, in this this is the main source the quota is the main source so uh, how, see let's suppose your quota is uh, 100 million okay 100 million dollar dollar 100 million then 25 percentage of this should be in gold or foreign currency 25 percentage gold or foreign currency and 75 percentage domestic currency so what about world bank if you remember i have told you let's suppose 100 million is your subscribed capital do you want to give the entire 100 million no you just need to give only 20 percentage that means 20 million and 80 percentage is actually payable on demand but here if it is 100 million quota you have to give 100 million quota okay so if quota is allowed 100 million quota you have to otherwise you need to pay interest for that okay so here uh, uh, see what i'm saying is out of this 20 two percentage is in terms of gold or foreign currency and 18 percentage in terms of domestic currency 80 percentage payable on demand so you are only paying 20 percent here you need to pay entire 100 percent okay so full you need to pay so this is the main source of uh, fund because member countries are paying in full okay and then uh, apart from that borrowings okay 
so now these are the two main sources of uh, uh, funds okay so quota and borrowings now the, what is the use of this quota quota is actually used for almost everything related to imf for borrowing i have told you six times the quota is the borrowing capacity so quota is actually used for borrowing and quota is used for many things i'll write here subscription subscriptions and quota is important for voting power more the share more the quota more the voting power okay so voting i'll discuss in world bank also we have discussed there is a basic vote and there is a, a vote on the basis of share right basic vote is 250 and for one lakh dollar you have one share so for one share you have one vote in case of ibrd we have discussed 250 basic vote and one vote per share right so here also we will discuss uh, similar to this okay so basic vote will be there and then based on share also what will be there there the demand of uh, developing countries is basically to increase the basic votes okay so we will come to that just hold on so here uh, quota is actually used for subscription voting power okay allocation of SDR allocation of SDR uh, SDR is actually currency of IMF okay not a physical currency uh so allocation of sdr so uh, sdr is actually allocated in proportion to quota voting power is also in proportion to quota and sdr holding will also uh, re, uh, you know uh, and is a uh, you know uh, important for voting power we'll come to that then borrowing capacity borrowing capacity so basically quota is used for these subscription voting power allocation of sdr borrowing capacity i've told you six times the six times the quota okay so you can borrow up to six times the quota beyond that in case if you need to borrow there are conditions okay and mostly developing countries will face that uh, will be imposed certain conditions if you borrow beyond the limit developed countries their borrowing will come within the limit only. okay now voting when we discuss about voting i've told you in case of ibrd it is a basic vote basic vote plus one vote for each share okay so here dollar one lakh dollar one lakh is what one share is so one lakh dollar means you'll get one share 500 lakh dollar means 500 share so 250 is the basic vote 250 is the basic vote and let's suppose 500 lakh dollar is there then 500 share is there so 500 lakh dollar dollar is the subscribe capital so your voting will be 750 so it all depends on the subscribe capital more the subs subscribe capital more will be the voting power so us is having 17 to 18 percentage voting power their capital is so high subscribe capital is so high okay so the developing countries demand is actually to increase basic votes okay so he, here when it comes to imf imf the voting is like this similar to that basic vote okay basic vote plus one vote for each quota of sdr one lakh see in case of world bank one vote for one share and one share is dollar one lakh so basically one vote for dollar one lakh in case of world bank here one vote for sdr one lakh sdr is uh, is again can be it's almost like 1.5 dollar okay so one sdr the exchange rate is actually 1.5 dollar so that exchange rate is actually fixed on the basis of certain basket of uh, currencies like uh, euro pound sterling us dollar uh, japan's currency chinese currency renminbi okay yuan etc so now here if you see the structure when we discussed about uh, world bank I have told you that there is a president at the top then you have board of governors board of governors and then board of executive directors right executive directors so here when you see in case of IMF there is a managing director as we have already discussed and managing director will be from Europe and then board of governors board of governors this board of governor and this board of governor is same like uh, any member country have to send two members to this this position imf and world bank and two members from india are 
first one ex officio a uh, governor that is uh, the finance minister okay so one person will be finance minister second alternate governor so here a governor and an alternate governor so here here governor and alternate governor so a member country have to send a, gov a governor and an alternate governor two members to represent here and here so finance minister is actually the ex officio member of the uh, or the ex officio governor and the rbi governor rbi governor is the alternate governor so here alternate governor is the rbi governor don't be confused not rbi governor rbi if, if you ask me the rbi governor is the representative yes but rbi governor is the alternate governor finance minister is the governor so when you see that word governor you may think that rbi governor that's why i'm stressing this point again even before also i've told this point okay so every member country have to send two representative as governor and uh, alternate or deputy deputy governor and from india finance minister is the ex officio governor and the rbi governor is the deputy governor then after board of directors uh, board of governors then you have executive board similar to this executive board executive board and i've told you here executive board executive directors board of executive directors so out of 24 tw total 24 is there out of 24 19 elected and five nominated who nominate the largest uh, quota holders right so the largest five quota holders uh, will nominate five members here also 24 uh, ex uh, 24 members okay so here executive board which is having 24 directors so board of executive directors 24 directors out of which 19 elected and five nominated same same who will be nominating this five it is the largest quota holders but in 2015 in the recent reform of imf in 2015 reform i'll discuss about this in the next session the imf reform certain other reforms also we need to discuss over there so in 2015 imf reform uh, all became elected so all the 25 members will be elected so this five nominated is not there all 24 will be elected okay so india also represent india also represent which all other countries nepal bhutan and sri lanka okay so india also represent these three countries and what are the publications of imf publications okay world economic outlook world economic outlook then fiscal monitor fiscal monitor then global financial stability report financial this you can collect from you know the stability report so whatever is coming in current affair they, there is a high possibility that the question will be asked last year there was a question on ease of doing business which is actually published by world bank so when it comes to world bank i've told you ease of doing business global economic prospects global findex database logistic price index etc these are the publications of world bank okay so whatever is coming in current affair you have to which year you are writing prelims depends on that you have to know the details of it last year it was slightly more difficult because they have actually asked not uh, you know ease of doing businesses published by which of the organization no which of the criteria is used so even there was 10 criteria you need to know that 10 criteria also and luckily uh, in that options if you see you will be in a position to pick that one which is standing out which was law and order but that will not be the case all the time okay last year it was luckily you might have uh, picked it up correctly but you should be knowing everything now related to the reports and it is slightly difficult so many reports are there okay even remembering the name of the publisher itself is difficult so the criteria used is even more difficult and which is not used that is even more difficult that is actually what asked which of the criteria is not used is what asked so pick that is even more difficult okay so i hope you understood the session so what we what we have done is uh, we have discussed about what is imf we talked about this uh, un financial monetary and financial conference which was held in 94 1944 bretton woods and uh, bretton woods twins as ibrd and imf we have seen the uh, establishment and after two years came into operational and the structure okay the functions most important function is to 
assist the member countries during the BOP crisis. Okay, provide technical assistance, etc. Surveillance. Now, conditional loans it provide, and why conditions? I have told you in developing countries the condition is because you borrow beyond your quota. That's why condition. If you borrow within your quota, then there is no condition. Okay, so your quota, whatever quota is there, let's suppose 100 million, for example, 100 million dollars is your quota, and six times that, that means 600 million times, 600 million dollar you can borrow. That is the allowed limit. If you borrow 500 million, there is no conditions. But if you borrow 700 million, then there will be condition. That's what I mean to say. And provide short term loan. What is the logic for short term loan? Because uh, you know you need to. It's a short term crisis, BOP crisis. But in case of uh, World Bank, it is uh, assisting the development. So that's a long term process, right? So 25 to 40 years loans is what we have seen and uh, not concessional credit why timely credit is more important not concessional credit to solve that uh, immediate problem you need timely credit okay then uh, quota we have discussed about quota okay then uh, yeah so this is how you need to maintain the quota 25 percentage in gold or foreign currency 75 percentage in the domestic currency so you have to pay your entire quota unlike the world bank in world bank you need to pay only 20 percent of the subscribed capital 80 percent is payable on demand so main source of fund in case of imf is quota and borrowing in case of world bank it is a subscribed capital which is similar to quota and uh, then uh, it was issue uh, world bank issue bonds okay the world bank issue bonds in the international financial market and the financial institutions can only buy those bonds and then uh, we have discussed about the quota why why quota is important quota is important in with respect to subscription voting power allocation of sdr and borrowing capacity we have already seen okay so with the voting we have seen how, how about the voting voting is like this basic vote plus one vote for each quota of sdr one lakh in case of world bank uh, basic vote plus one vote for each dollar one lakh one, one vote for each share but each share is dollar one lakh here one vote for each quarter and one quarter if you see each quarter of SDR one lakh okay so SDR one lakh one vote earlier in case of World Bank dollar one lakh that is one vote okay so then we have seen the, st the structure president board of governors here also managing director board of governors then executive directors executive directors so 24 executive directors all are elected now especially after the reform so i hope you understood okay now india also represent these three countries and these are the publications world economic outlook fiscal monitor global financial and stability report if you have any doubt related to any of your preparation civil service preparation if you need to write main main stress series with me okay economy or uh, all ethics or anything you can get in touch with me here that's my instagram id zia Safir or this is my number 9790-892-697-989-55-7775 so please feel free to call me for any help related to your preparation mentorship or uh, guidance or anything okay so see you guys thank you so that's about the session uh, i hope you understood everything that we have discussed today if you have any doubt in any of the videos that we have discussed so far you can get in touch with me here that's my instagram id okay or you can join the telegram channel you will get all my videos over there everything is there or you can see here this is a telegram channel or uh, this is the instagram id these two are my facebook page you can get in touch with me in any of this if you want to learn economy with me or history with me or general studies any subjects you can if you need regular classes you can get in touch with me or the online classes are available with study iq you will get all those classes still you will get my youtube videos in this telegram channel okay so i hope you understood everything that we have discussed so see you guys thank you